But I want to start this show with Notre Dame, Chris. The Irish had four commits going back to last Thursday, three in the 2022 class. Linebacker safety flex Jaden Osbury, safety Ben Minnick, uh, running back Dylan Edwards, and then four-star offensive lineman Peter Jones in the 2024 class. The Irish sit at number one in the 2023 and 2024 recruiting standings. Let's kind of zero in on these 2023 guys. Uh, all three of them announced on the 24-7 sports platform. So if you missed coverage from those events, you can find that on this channel and make sure you hit the like button. But Dylan Edwards, he's the fastest offensive player that Notre Dame's recruited since Chris Tyree, who I think is really going to blossom this year and be a difference maker for the Irish. Has that Will Fuller type speed. Uh, um, you know, he's a 5'7 dynamic playmaker that can do things in space, stretch the field, punt return, kick return, gadget guy, jet sweep. He's going to be a, a, a fun component for, for Tommy Reese and, and company to move around that offense uh, in, in years to come. Minnick is smart, very good athlete. He's got a 10 400 meter dash to his name, probably more in the 10 7 range. I think that was a 10 4 win aided. But he obviously can run uh, an athletic safety that can match up against the best teams in the country. That's what Notre Dame's trying to do here. Make no mistake, these recruiting classes that Marcus Freeman and company are trying to assemble. They're trying to find two more wins at the end of the year. You know, this team, they've been fun to watch during regular seasons. They've played in some New Year's Six games. They've played in some college football playoffs. They want to go further. Jaden Osbury, a, a hybrid linebacker safety, six foot, 200 pounds with coverage ability. He's a good athlete, can maybe play big nickel, a, a rover backer, uh, uh, can play inside. But you know he can run. You know he's athletic. And those are, are, are three more big pickups for the number one class in the country. Will they stay number one? Will they stay number one? They got to keep Keon Keeley in the fold, the number one edge rusher, and they got to keep Peyton Bowen, the number one, or excuse me, one of the top safeties in, in the country who Oklahoma and Texas A&M are working to flip. Obviously, it's Alabama and Notre Dame for, for Keon Keeley. That first game of the season against Ohio State on the road at night, Chris and Jason, is, a, is another opportunity for Notre Dame to show that they are an upper echelon program on Saturdays against those elite opponents. Ohio State's the number two team in the country. Notre Dame's number five. We haven't seen Notre Dame win a ball game like that. It's been a long time since Notre Dame has come. There are, there are two touchdown underdogs, I think, Chris. Does that sound accurate? You follow that? 14 and a half points, I think. Is, is is the spread right now. So nobody is expecting Notre Dame to play well in this ball game against Ohio State because past history says that they're going to get thumped against an opponent like that uh, on a stage like this. But I, I, I think that Notre Dame ha has a good football team that they're going to run out there. They're, they're extremely veteran on defense. You know, when you look at Notre Dame uh, on defense, they're, they're, they're front seven or eight is, is all seniors or, or graduate seniors. And then you get into the secondary and you see uh, more seniors and, and, and graduate seniors. So this is going to be a team that's about 21, 22 years old in, in age across the front. You have Isaiah Foskey who could be a top 10 pick uh, as an edge rusher. For him to play well against the Buckeyes when you are recruiting against Alabama and that powerhouse to keep Keon Keeley in, in the fold down the road uh, could be massive for, for Notre Dame, for, for Brandon Joseph, an All-American who transferred from Northwestern, who always has a knack for being around the football, can make some plays in that game. Maybe that helps you with Peyton Bowen, but more than anything, play well against Ohio State, a team that many are marking as one that can win the national championship, including myself, one that's going to run out there, an elite group of wide receivers, C.J. Stroud at quarterback, Travion Henderson uh, in, in the backfield, a veteran front for themselves on defense. But I think Notre Dame, they're getting that. They've recruited at a high level. Uh, uh, they had a top 10 class last year, number one this year. This is an opportunity to really sustain where this thing is going for Marcus Freeman and company early on. And look, it, it's one game. You don't win it. You, you live to fight another day. You don't play well in it. You, you live to fight another day. But this is just an opportunity for Notre Dame in a night game, in the shoe, in front of one of the largest crowds in college football in a game where you're a double dog favorite to go out there and, and, and finally earn some respect in the upper tier. I think no one, no one's arguing that Notre Dame's not a program that's six to 10. I mean, hell, they, they've proven that year in and year out. They want to be a program that can win two more games at the end of the season, 
Keon Keeley and Peyton Bowen are players that can help you get there. This is a class uh, that's really off and running for the Irish, uh, but to keep that momentum going, uh, I look at week one and, and see just an, an awesome opportunity for Marcus Freeman and that staff to, to, to go into Columbus, Ohio, a hostile place uh, and, and play well. And I'm hearing some good things about new defensive coordinator Al Golden. I think that's just been a tremendous hire with Marcus Freeman moving down the hall to the corner office, still bringing that juice and energy to the program. But now, you know, a CEO type, you know, Al Golden, he's a, he's a smart football coach. He'll get Notre Dame schemed up week in and week out. He'll know how to adjust in games like the one they're going to face against Ohio State, and then they're obviously a terrific play caller in, in, in Ryan Day. I expect Notre Dame to be disciplined on defense. So I think that game is is more intriguing than maybe some people are even giving credit for because I think Notre Dame with a, 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 a veteran offensive line uh, um, and, and uh, a defense that's rooted in experience, they have a chance to, to, to go into Columbus and play well, and they need it on the recruiting trail to continue if they're going to have a shot to finish number one.